In this video, we'll show you how to use extensions to set up call forwarding to manage how your phone system and its users handle calls. There are three types of extensions, employee extensions, department extensions, and dial by name directory. Employee extensions are three digits each and represent your phone system's users. Every member of your team should have their own employee extension, including you. You'll need an employee extension to sync with or log into your mobile app. Within each employee extension, you can customize call forwarding, voicemail, login info, and the permission settings for users. Department extensions are simply groups of employee extensions. They are one digit each, 0 through 6. For example, you could designate extension 1 as your sales department and extension 2 as your support department. You also have the ability to customize the call forwarding and voicemail settings for each department extension. The dial by name directory is exactly what it sounds like. It's a directory of all your employee extensions. It allows callers to use their phone's dial pad to find an employee extension based on your employee's last name. You can manage your extensions by logging into your account and navigating to extensions. Here, you'll find department extension 0 forwarding to your contact number, the number you entered at sign up. You can create a new extension by selecting add extension or you can edit an existing extension by selecting the edit button. The first thing you'll want to do is add and invite users to their own employee extensions. When you select Add Extension on the Employee Extensions list, a pop-up menu will ask you to enter the extension's general information and set the permission level. Initially, the user will only have the ability to see and control their own employee extension when they log in. However, you can make them an admin which gives them complete access to your phone system with the exception of your billing and account information. As an alternative, you also have the option to give them specific access to manage other extensions in addition to their own employee extension. Below, you'll see a checkbox labeled Send Invite Email. Checking this box will send an invitation to the user's email address above. This will let them log in, reset their password, sync their mobile app, and manage their own call forwarding. The new extension will be added to the bottom of the list with the Edit menu open. Here, you'll find several items you can edit. General information, forwarding extensions and numbers, voicemail forwarding, voicemail greeting, recorded extension name, extension login, and extension permissions. First, you'll see general information in the top left. Here, you can edit your extension's basic info and activate functions such as the mobile app and devices, voicemail transcription, and call recording. Please note that voicemail transcription and call recording are add-ons you can activate in your settings menu under extras. Now, let's talk about how you actually use your employee extension to answer and make calls by taking a look at the sections Mobile App and Devices and Forwarding Extensions and Numbers. Employee extensions can forward calls to an app or device or a call forwarding list of other extensions or phone numbers. While this provides you with a lot of flexibility, there are some best practices you should consider. By default, employee extensions load with the account owner's contact number set as a forwarding number to receive calls. We recommend you activate and answer calls on the Unitel Voice mobile app. Once the mobile app and devices is enabled, its settings will appear in the right column. You have the option to adjust the outbound caller ID and ring time, how long it rings. As you can see here, your employee extension has unique mobile app login credentials. These login credentials are used to sync your Unitel Voice mobile app with your personal employee extension. After you've downloaded the mobile app to your smartphone, you have the option to use these login credentials or simply scan the QR code to automatically log in and sync your employee extension with your mobile app. As a third option, the username and password you set up for your employee extension will allow you to sync and log in as well. If you want to use the mobile app to handle calls, we recommend removing any listed forwarding numbers or extensions. Otherwise, the phone system will first forward calls to your mobile app and if the call is not answered, the call will roll to the other forwarding numbers or extensions you have listed. If you would like your employee extension to simply forward to a phone number, you can deactivate the mobile app and edit the current forwarding number here. Moving on, there are some important settings you need to adjust, including what email address you want your voicemail to forward to, recording your extension's voicemail greeting, and recording your name for the dial by directory. To record a greeting, select Add Your Own Greeting, then select Record by Computer. This will launch the recording tool. Once you are happy with your recording, save it and make sure it is selected. If you do not have a microphone on your computer to record a greeting, you can upload an MP3 file if you already have one recorded. In the next section, Extension Login, you can manage the employee extension's login information by typing in the extension owner's email, username, and password. 
The owner or user of the extension can use these login credentials to access and manage their employee extension via the web or the Unitel Voice mobile app. Users can also change their login credentials at any time by simply visiting the Unitel Voice login page and clicking Forgot Your Login. Finally, you can edit the extension user's permissions in this section by choosing to only give the extension user the ability to manage specific employee and department extensions, or you can make the extension user an admin, which allows them to manage everything in your Unitel Voice account except for your billing and account information. Only admins can see and manage user permissions. Be sure to save the extension settings before moving on. We recommend that you build out your employee extensions first and then create your department extensions because department extensions typically send calls to a group of employee extensions. Let's walk through an example by creating a new department extension that could be used by your sales team to manage sales calls. When you add or edit a department extension, you'll notice the settings are quite similar to that of an employee extension. To the left, you'll see the department extension's general information and to the right, you'll have the following. Your forwarding extensions and numbers the email your voicemail forwards to, the ability to add a voicemail greeting, and the ability to record an extension name for the dial-by-name directory. Because this is going to be your sales department, the first thing you'll want to do is add the employee extension of every member of your sales team. First, you'll want to remove the default forwarding number by selecting the trash icon. Then, you can add your extensions by clicking Add a Forwarding Number and then selecting each applicable employee extension you have the option to enter a short description to label each extension and adjust the ring duration. We recommend 15 seconds. If you click Edit on the employee extension you just added, you also have the ability to adjust the forwarding schedule, which designates what days and times calls can be answered by the specific employee extension. And finally, you can activate Call Announcement. However, if you are forwarding to employee extensions, it's best to leave it off so calls aren't delayed. Okay, we've added the forwarding extension. Now, we'll want to repeat the process until all of our sales team members' employee extensions have been added to our sales department extension. Notice you have the option to control how the department extension forwards calls to the sales team, in order, random order, or simultaneously, and you can reorder the list. Near the bottom of your screen, you'll see where you can manage your department extension's voicemail. You'll want to record or upload a professional voicemail greeting here. Now, scroll up and click Save, and you're done. When an extension is closed, you can see the call forwarding settings under the extension's name. The last extension we'll quickly cover is the dial-by-name directory. The dial-by-name directory gives callers the ability to look up employee extensions by dialing the employee's last name. Your dial-by-name directory is always set to extension 8. Here, you can add or remove extensions from the directory by selecting or deselecting them, and adjust the extension name if needed. Two important notes if you want to use your dial-by-name directory. 1. The employee extension must be activated on this list to become available to callers. And 2. Callers will not be able to select an employee unless their name has been recorded within their employee extension under the section Recorded Extension Name. Give your customers the right impression with professional greetings. Your Unitel Voice virtual phone system has three greeting types. Your main greeting, your after-hours greeting, and your extension voicemail greetings. Each employee and department extension has its own voicemail greeting. First, let's discuss your main greeting, the recording your customers hear when they first call your business. Here's how to set it up. Navigate to Settings and Greetings. Here, you can manage your main greeting. Remember, your main greeting is the recording your customers hear when they first call your business. So before you record your main greeting, think about what dial options you want to include. Here's an example. ABC Company has two departments sales, and support. And they have three employees, Mike, Jim, and Susan. Here's what their main greeting might sound like. Thank you for calling ABC Company. For our sales department, press 1. For our support department, press 2. If you know your party's employee extension, you may dial it at any time. Now, let's record and upload your main greeting. To record the greeting yourself, select Upload and Record. Then select Record by Computer. This will launch the recording tool. Once you're happy with your recording, save it and make sure it is selected. If you do not have a microphone on your computer to record a greeting, you have three other options. Number one, you can upload an MP3 file if you already have one recorded. Number two, you can use your mobile device's microphone to record your greeting by logging into your online account through your mobile device's web browser. 
or three, you can set up the Unitel Voice mobile app to access your settings and record your main greeting. If you don't want to use your voice, you can order a free professional voice recording from our Voice Talent Studio. You just submit your script, our Voice Talent reads and records it, and our customer support team uploads it for you. The process usually takes one to two business days, and it's totally free. Visit unitelvoice.com slash voice studio to get your free recording. Below your main greeting, you have the option to have your recording replay if your caller does not dial an extension, or you can have your recording play once, and if your caller does not dial an extension, have the caller automatically forwarded to an extension of your choice. Now, let's discuss how to set up your after hours greeting. Your after hours greeting is a recording your customers will hear after the close of your business day. Here's an example of what an after hours greeting might sound like. Thank you for calling ABC Company. Our offices are currently closed. Our business hours are from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you would like to leave a message in our general voice mailbox, press 0. If you'd like to speak with an after hours technician, please press 9. Below the main greeting, you'll find your business hours schedule menu with several drop down options and the ability to create a custom schedule. If your business hours are set to 24-7, your after-hours greeting will not play because you're indicating that your business is open 24-7. Lastly, let's discuss your extension voicemail greetings. The extension voicemail greeting is the recording customers will hear when they're forwarded to the voicemail box of a specific extension. To manage your extension voicemail greetings, let's navigate to the extensions page. To access an extension's voicemail greeting, click the extension's edit button and scroll down to voicemail greeting. Here, you can upload or record your extension's voicemail greeting. A department extension's voicemail greeting might sound like this. Thank you for calling ABC Customer Service. We're sorry, all representatives are assisting other callers at this time. Please leave your name, contact info, and a brief message, and the first available representative will return your call as soon as possible. An employee extension's voicemail greeting might sound like this. You've reached the desk of Mike Smith. I'm sorry, I'm not available to take your call. Please leave your name, contact info, and a brief message, and I'll return your call as soon as possible. The Unitel Voice mobile app allows you to make and receive calls using your business phone number so you can work from anywhere. In this brief video, we'll discuss how to log into your mobile app, how your mobile app's features work, and how to use your mobile app to make and receive calls. Let's get started by logging in. Your mobile app is associated with your employee extension. In fact, in order to log in to your mobile app, you must sync it with your personal employee extension. With Unitel Voice, employee extensions and users are one and the same. After you've downloaded the Unitel Voice mobile app from either the Apple Store or Google Play, use the username and password you set up for your personal employee extension to log in. You also have the option to return to your online account and access your employee extension to retrieve your mobile app's login credentials. You may manually enter the app's credentials or simply scan the QR code. Once you're done, your app will be synced to your employee extension. To have full access to your phone system through your app, make sure that your employee extension has the admin permission enabled. If you do not have an employee extension, ask your account admin to create one for you and provide you with your employee extension's user login info. And remember, if users have trouble logging into the web portal or the mobile app, simply have them click Forgot Your Login to reset their username and password. Now, let's take a quick look at your mobile app's features. Remember, some of the features you see here are dependent on your personal employee extension's permission settings. Inside the app, the Virtual Office tab gives you access to a mobile version of your phone system's dashboard. Here, you'll find your inbox, which includes your voicemail messages and faxes and your call logs, extensions, fax out, and settings. The keypad is where you can place outbound calls from your business number. Contacts allows you to access your smartphone's contacts for convenience. And history shows you a log of inbound and outbound calls made from your device. Finally, let's discuss making and receiving calls. When making or receiving a call through the app, you'll have the option to place the caller on hold, blind transfer the call, use the Attend It Transfer option, or add a caller. Blind Transfer will simply send the caller through the intended recipient's number. Attend It Transfer will allow you to speak with the intended recipient before connecting the caller. Adding a caller will create a conference bridge with up to two other callers, allowing you to host a three-way conference call at any time. 
By default, the Unitel Voice mobile app uses your local Wi-Fi connection to make and receive calls. If Wi-Fi is not available, it will run off your device's data plan. The Unitel Voice app does not use your cellular minutes. And that's it. If you have any questions or need help, please give our support team a call at 855-888-6423 or visit our help desk at unitelvoice.com support.